Hello and welcome to ElectroNerds Academy. This video marks the beginning of our Arduino series. Throughout this series, we'll immerse ourselves in the Arduino programming environment and discover how to integrate different hardware components to craft cool projects. But before we dive in, let's establish a solid understanding of what exactly an Arduino is. An Arduino is an open source programmable circuit board that empowers anyone to craft innovative hardware projects. The Arduino family boasts over 100 hardware products, including microcontroller boards, shields, carrier kits, accessories, and more. Among the notable models are the Arduino Nano, Arduino Leonardo, and Arduino Mega. However, the star of the show remains the Arduino Uno. At the heart of the Arduino Uno lies a microcontroller, akin to a small, cost-effective computer capable of operating on low power. Surrounding the microcontroller are pins that facilitate circuit construction by connecting various input and output devices. Additionally, power pins provide voltages such as 5 volts and 3.3 volts. The board can be powered through three primary methods, via a USB A to B cable connected to a PC, through a DC barrel jack supplying 7 to 12 volt DC, or by directly feeding regulated 5 volts to the VIN pin. The board also features a USB port simplifying the process of uploading code to the device. In the Arduino environment, a software program is referred to as a sketch, typically ending with the .ino extension. These sketches are written in an easy-to-learn programming language similar to C. To write and upload sketches, we utilize the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, IDE. Accessible from the arduino.cc website under the Software tab, the IDE is available for various operating systems. It's worth noting that the IDE is free to download with the option for donations. Installation is straightforward and involves agreeing to install any necessary drivers for your computer to communicate with the Arduino Uno effectively. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with all the different components of the Arduino IDE. At the top of the interface, you'll find the essential menus. File, Edit, Sketch, Tools, and Help. Just below, the Compile button awaits, ready to check for errors in the code written within the editor window. Any errors or successful compilation messages promptly appear in the output window at the bottom. When an Arduino is connected to the PC, the Upload button becomes active, allowing for the transfer of code onto the board. Upon pressing it, two sequential actions occur. First, the code undergoes compilation, and if error-free, it proceeds to upload onto the Arduino board. The spacious white area, known as the editor window, serves as the canvas for code creation with a pre-existing snippet of code. To the top right, two icons stand out, one for the serial monitor and the other for the serial plotter. The serial monitor facilitates serial data transmission and reception, while the serial plotter visually presents this data on a graph, aiding in its interpretation and comparison. Both of these tools will be explored in greater detail in forthcoming lessons. Connect your Arduino Uno using a USB Type A to B cable, navigate to the Tools menu, and select the appropriate COM or communication port generated by the Arduino Uno. Next, within the same Tools menu, navigate to the Boards option and choose Arduino Uno. With these settings configured, we're ready to upload a sketch onto the Arduino and witness the magic unfold. Every Arduino program has two basic functions. Setup runs once when the hardware is first powered on or the board is reset and loop runs continuously to react to signals from input devices or changes to the state of the program. However, if you're unsure about how to write the code, fret not. The Arduino team has graciously provided a plethora of example sketches for us to explore. Simply access these examples by navigating to the Files menu and then selecting the Examples option. Within this extensive library, we will start with the basics by choosing the Blink example. Upon selection, a new window will display the corresponding code. If the code seems perplexing at first glance, don't worry. Enjoy the process, knowing that we'll delve into its intricacies in future lessons. With the Arduino Uno connected, simply hit Upload and await confirmation of the successful uploading process. Once complete, observe your Arduino board. An LED will blink at one-second intervals, signaling the successful execution of the uploaded sketch. Congratulations! You've just built a custom hardware product, but there's a lot more we can do with it. For more learning, stay tuned for upcoming lesson videos, and we'll see you next time.